and welcome. Today we have Mr. Dinesh Victor with us. He is the MD of SIP Academy. He is an IIT Bombay and IIM Ahmedabad alumni. And after working for eight years in corporate, he founded SIP Academy. So welcome, sir. Welcome on board. Thank you, Sakshi. It's lovely to have you here. And we would like to know more about the SIP Academy and Abacus. Yeah. So uh, just quickly, uh, so rightly said, we started this uh, after about, I started this about after eight years of working. And this was about 20 years ago. So we started this in 2003. And we started in Chennai in a small way. And now uh, we've grown quite well. We have centers across India in about 370 cities. And uh, we have also centers uh, outside India in about seven or eight countries. We run this program outside India also. Uh, but what is this program? This is a program which actually helps develop the mental skills of young children. So children who are in the ages say about uh, 6 years to about 10, 12 years. So class 2, class 1, class 2 to about class 5. This program really helps develop their mental skills and uh, builds a very strong foundation in math. So these are the two key things and the benefits obviously when they do well at math, they do obviously yeah. well at math at school. Uh, but also the other benefit is because of the development of mental skills, they are able to do better in overall learning and that shows up in their academic progress in other subjects also, surprisingly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that, that is what I was about to ask that uh, Abacus is mostly related to mathematics. Correct. How do they, how does it help kids to develop their mental skills and other skills? Correct. So uh, this is a uh, question which I will need about 4-5 minutes to explain to you. Yeah. How this actually helps, but it's very good for the people who are listening in and hearing also how this can actually help develop the other skills. So firstly, uh, to explain that, I will have to explain how the abacus works a little bit and then you will appreciate how the other skills actually develop in children. Right. So for that, I have with me a large abacus which is used for the teachers to teach children, uh, what we call master abacus or teacher's abacus. I'll just okay. quickly share that with you here. It's right here for with me. And uh, I don't know if your viewers can see this and maybe you can also see this. So if you can see this large abacus, it's got, it's a very simple concept. It's got five beads in each row, each column. You've got five, multiple columns. Each column has got five beads, one bead on the top and four beads in the bottom. And beads represent numbers. So for example, when one bead is up, it represents the number one. Right. Two is the number two, three is the number three and four is the number four. So pretty simple. And when we have the upper bead down, this is the number five. Okay. So when we have one upper bead and one lower bead, this becomes the number six. Okay. Five plus one, six. Yes. Seven, eight, and nine. And when both are away from the divider, this is the number zero. Okay. Zero also is an important number. So uh, number zero. So we have uh, all the numbers from zero to nine in one rod, and the rod next to it, the rod next to it is what we call is the tens rod. Okay. Then we have the hundreds. Then have the thousands, ten thousands, and, and so, so on. on. Yeah. So, for example, this if I have two beads up. This is the number 2. Okay. Right? The same 2 beads up in the next rod becomes the number 20. 20, yes. How, so, in a, for a child, it's actually quite simple to see how addition and subtraction are done. Hmm. You're just moving the beads, the right rods, and you can just get the right answer. Yes. So, with the abacus, so children use something smaller. They use something like this. Which the smaller can, abacus. Yeah, because okay. the teacher is slow. You can't use it all the time. So, I'll just remove this. And they can use this and add and subtract numbers. You can see some videos okay. of children you know, playing. You would have seen kids yes, doing yes, this. Yes, 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 I have. And now, but that's just the first part and it's nice with the abacus. But in real life, we want children, like I said, to train the child's brain. So how do we do that? So from the next level onwards, this is hmm. the foundation level, when the uh, foundation level 1 or the junior level. And so when they go to the next level, the higher level, level 2 onwards, we train children to use this to add numbers and also to try to add numbers without using this. Okay. So how can a child add numbers without using this? We train children to visualize in their brain whatever you just saw in the large abacus yes. in their own brain and add and subtract or move the beads and come up with the answer. Yeah, do it mentally. Mentally. Come up. Okay. So this process develops a lot of skills along with it. So the first skill as you can see when the child learns the abacus itself is they lose their fear of numbers. And many times just by losing the fear of numbers they do well in school maths. <laughs> yes, that, that made that me think, itself, I wish I had learned it. <laughs> very true. A lot of people should ideally learn this yes. so they lose their fear. That's the first thing. But as you go along in the higher levels, the use of the abacus helps child 
children to develop their concentration now how does it help the concentration because in arithmetic you either get an exact answer correct answer or you get no marks for a wrong answer okay so if i have to add a sequence of numbers and get the answer right hmm. i have to concentrate in each and every digit correctly get all the steps perfectly right to get the right answer okay if i missed anything that means obviously i have not got the right answer i have not right. concentrated somewhere right and when we do training to children we either give them through books where they write or we speak out the sums like hmm. we say some sums and later on we will see a demonstration of children where you can read out some numbers so hmm. I, i read it out say 23 plus 47 plus 56 plus 75 so the child is to listen and get all the numbers right and only then you can add and get the final answer correct so okay. this develops the child's concentration and also listening skills both yes, listening yes very and important both. and because they use their brain to visualize numbers it develops their visual memory also right you are visualizing all the time numbers hmm. and we do so hmm. many numbers so visualization skill also develops and no doubt children who can do these things are a lot more confident because they do better at school and children parents say and adults say wow you done so well beta itna acha kiya very well you done so well so they get the confidence right and that also helps them in approaching anything difficult without very fearing that i cannot do this thing yeah helps with the personality also personality overall. also yes. exactly they get a lot more confident as they go along yes and that is how this program is not just for maths that's a small part of the whole thing but actually develops their overall skills that helps them in their personality and obviously performance in learning anything better as they grow up in life so sakshi like i was mentioning during our discussion about how the abacus helps children uh, we have two children here who have been learning the sip abacus program okay and uh, i would like to show you what they have learned would you be interested in seeing that of course yes yeah it will be quite nice so let me introduce the children here first sure so what's your name my name is sai charan uh, sai charan and what class are you studying class 3 so only in class 3 very young so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to ask uh, you to ask any sum to them okay uh, so but before i ask you uh, maybe you also obviously have all learned uh, math and many of the audience here would have learned math at school and you know basic arithmetic hmm. so if i were to ask you a very simple question i just want to understand how uh, that actually works in your brain right so i'll ask you a very simple question let's say i ask you a uh, 3 plus 4 what's the answer to that 7 7 very good so if i were to ask you a little bit more number of sums so say 2 uh, plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 what's the answer to that uh i'll have to calculate oh, it huh. will take, take me some time let it be slow say 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 15 very good yeah. that's perfectly right but you could see that the moment i asked you four numbers hmm. it's a little your brain has to do a little bit of effort Yes. Yeah, you got to put some effort to come to the answer. Yes. And if I were to ask you a little bit more, you can understand that it's not that easy to do that sum, right? Anymore. True. You can see it's getting uh, a little more complex. Complicated. So even does. though you know addition subtraction, hmm. the moment I increase the number of rows, your brain has to really focus or concentrate, and you have to start thinking, remembering sometimes what the numbers I have said already, right. and then adding them in your brain and coming up with the answer. Correct. So it requires a little bit of brain processing, different from learning school maths. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. That's what I wanted to show with these children. It's not just maths, but something a little bit more than that. No doubt there is math, but there's a little bit more that happens. A lot more that happens in the brain, and that's what we want to show it to you here. Okay. So let's go ahead. So you can ask uh, Sai Charan maybe a row of single-digit numbers. Maybe if you noted some numbers, yeah, or I have. You have a notebook. Yeah, you have some numbers written down at your end. I have. I oh, have great. Some Super. Sums. Sai Charan, are you ready? Yes. So Auntie okay. is going to ask you some questions. Ready to answer? Yes. Okay, so now we normally use, like I said, the abacus to train hmm. children. But uh, at the higher levels, children can use their own brain to do it without using the abacus. So we can straight away ask them to ask Sai Charan your first question. Okay, hmm. so uh, what is nine plus seven plus eleven plus three plus five? Thirty-five. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I can even ask you to ask him a question with a minus in the middle. Can you think of some question? If you have a question, let's say. Uh, add something, put a minus, and then ask another. Add add some number. Okay, I have some two-digit numbers for that. Why don't you try? You'll try two-digit numbers. Yes. Oh, that's not easy. But let's see if we can try it out. Easy. Okay, we can try it out. So, fifty-one plus ten minus thirty-seven plus sixty-two plus seventy-four. One sixty. Awesome! Great! Awesome. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! <yeah. laughs> you see, only in class three, and kids can answer these kind of questions. So, yes. I'll ask you one more question. For this, uh, you can use your calculator on your phone or something hmm. to answer. 
So you give me one single digit number, any single digit number. Seven. Seven. Give me another single digit number. Nine. So seventy-nine. Let's take this number seventy-nine. Okay. So seventy-nine into let's say six. Okay. Okay. Can you tell what is seventy-nine times six? Four seventy-four. Absolutely right. It is four seventy-four. See. Amazing. Yes, yes. So you can just see how children can really, you know, uh, be so much more confident and develop their skills as they go along learning our program. You could see that single digit, double digit. And you can also see how they could do a multiplication of it. Yes, so that was number. surprising. That was really <laughs> amazing, right? Great. Uh, so Sakshi, I'll introduce you to the other student also here. So let me introduce the other student. So what's your name? My name is Kanishk Betala. So it's Kanishk, and what class are you in? Kanishk? I'm in class seven, sir. So class seven. Okay. So Kanish has finished a lot more of our levels, hmm. and so he can do a little more complex numbers than Sai Charan. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to ask Kanish. Let me start with something very simple. So maybe you can start with something like a single digit, maybe ten numbers, and see where, what happens. Whether he can okay. give you the answer. Okay. Sure. Okay. I'll go ahead with that. So you, guys, you have ten numbers with you somewhere. Yeah, yes, you I ask. have. Yeah, great. Ask okay. So Kanish, uh, yes. I'll give you the number. Yes. Eight. Eight. Plus seven. Plus five. Plus six. Plus three, plus one, plus two, plus four, plus nine, plus one. Forty-six. Yes, right. That's right. <laughs> so you can try one two-digit number also. You write single digit. We'll try yes. a two-digit number. Okay, sure. you can try some two-digit numbers for okay. him. Okay. Okay. Ask. Sure. Hmm. Going ahead with the question. Yes. Twenty, seventy-six, thirty-seven, seventy-five, fifty-three. Sixty-one. Right. Absolutely correct. Superb. Superb. You can try one three-digit. He has learned up to three digits. So you can maybe try one three-digit. Three rows. Will you try three digits? Yes, digit? sir. Okay, great. So okay. Try three-digit. Very good. One sixty-seven. Four thirty. Five seventy-one. Eleven sixty-eight. Right. Absolutely wow. correct. Amazing. Superb. Superb. Amazing. No. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So you saw Sai Charan try a double digit multiplication, right? Yes. So we can try whether he can do a triple digit multiplication. Okay, that would be very interesting. Interesting. Somebody can do three digits multiplication. Okay, you are ready? Yes, sir. So you give me any two digit number. Okay, uh, thirty three. Thirty three, and give me one single digit number. Seven. Seven. So three hundred and thirty seven. Yes. So let me ask you a simple question: three hundred and thirty seven times six. Twenty twenty two. That's right. That's right. <laughs> It took you more time on the calculation. Yes, <laughs> that's right. So one more. So three thirty-seven, right? That's the number you asked. Okay, three thirty-seven. So yeah. Three thirty-seven times eight. Two six nine six. Yes, correct. <laughs> so you can yes. see how well these children are trained, and the beauty is when these children. When I asked you the sum in the beginning, you could see when it was not that easy to do in your mind. Yes, it is not at all easy. Not at all easy, right? Yeah. But you could see how quickly they're able to do that. After training, yes, and that's really what we want to tell everybody that any child can learn if they are trained in this program in the right way, at the right time, and it's really amazing at young age what a child's brain can do actually. Yes, and it would be so beneficial in future for them. Exactly. As they say, teach them young. So how young a children should join? Very good this? question. So the first quest point is uh, this program can help actually everybody. You will be surprised to know that we have. Teachers who get trained on program. I'll speak about our teacher training a little later. Okay. But just to give you a point, even teachers who learn our program and who get trained in our program, they also have to use the advocates. They also see there is a change in their own skill after going through a training. Wow. <laughs> so even adults feel that they have become, in one some sense, smarter or sharper hmm, after doing hmm, our program. Hmm. So children, actually, any age can actually learn this program. Honestly. Okay. Uh, but. We find the ideal age. Any age means uh, the ideal age. We say is about class two to class five or class six is the best age. Very young. Very young. The primary. The two mm. reasons. One is younger than that, they can't sit and learn something like this. So they need to be about class one, middle of class one to about six years of age. I would say. Yes. Okay. And after they finish primary school, that's when they go to class six, class seven. Usually, the academic pressure on them is too high from the parents. Okay. For them to learn any new skill outside school. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So it's not only abacus. They won't be able to learn new music, or you know, can't learn karate at the age class seven. You should have started younger. So typically, any additional skill in India, you usually learn in that class one to class five, class six age. Hmm. Start that. Start it. Okay. So that's same for us also. Name mainly, but even a class seven or class eight child can actually learn our program if he or she is willing to put the effort and time and learn it. 
but we see majority of our kids are in this class 2 class 3 class 4 age group of startup program okay and that's a beautiful age to learn any new skill not just our program any new skill is a very nice a very good age to learn that program learn it they're not much pressure at school and parents also are not you know too worried about it and kids also are very sharp to learn anything at that age since uh, kids have so much to do these days, I mean, they are doing, uh, they're learning guitar, music, after the school, they're going to tuitions. Then how much time would Abacus learning would take them in a, a, great in a day question. or and in a week? That's one of the big, that's a very good question, Sakshi. And that's one of the great challenges we also face with parents and children. Uh, because children, parents also want children to do so many things. Hmm. I think more than children, parents want the kids to do so many yes, things. Yes, yes. I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, if I were a parent, I'm a parent, I also would want my kids to do so many things. But unfortunately, your kids cannot do so many things. They can do only a few things well. Yeah. And as a parent, you've got to make a decision on what are those few things I want to teach my child at this time. And then a few things at a later time. Right. So we, typically our program will require about two hours on the weekday, weekend to learn. And about okay. another 10 minutes every day to practice. So about three hours a week is, I would say, the time the child has to give. Okay. Not well, a lot of time. Yeah, that's that's very comfortable very time. Yeah, it's a very, very comfortable time. You're yes, right. Yes, it is. But even that, many parents find it hard to, you know, they say, no, you have to go this time, that time. So I only would tell parents is you have to decide what you want in your children to develop. Yeah. So how long is the course in SIP Abacus for uh, Yeah, so Abacus? it depends on the age you start. So if you're very young, let's say you're, uh, let's say only class one, hmm. it may take you approximately five years to complete the whole course. Okay. If you're a little older, say you are in class 3, class hmm. 4, it may take you a little over 3 years to finish the whole course. Because okay. when you're very young, we have an extra something called a junior program, which takes about a year and a half. Then they do the senior program, or what we call the main abacus program. Okay. So depending on the age, it could be 3 and a half years to about 5 years complete to complete the whole program, all the way from the junior program all the way to grand module C. Okay. So it's quite, uh, I would say, detailed and quite intense for kids. And kids really enjoy it. Like I mentioned, if they and they can see that results at school itself and in real life, so they obviously are motivated to study this much more. So it's like three to five years of investment and then lifetime returns. Almost, actually, it's very true. Actually, it's very true. So some of sometimes uh, we people use the word SIP Academy as it's a good SIP. SIP. <laughs> <laughs> it's a systematic yes. investment plan on your child. Yes. Actually. Yeah. So that's the other thing. The other great thing we have in our company is very unique about SIP Abacus is. We want every child to progress. And we are able to do that using something called a SIP brand promise, hmm. which is something very unique to our company and something very, uh, I would say, very dear to us in a way that any child who comes to a program, say tomorrow your niece or you know maybe your anyone, friend's daughter comes to our program and we are, we do a pre-test when they come to our program to okay. show what the current level is. Okay. And at the end of our foundation levels, we do one more test. Okay. And we guarantee every child will do minimum five times more than what they started off. So if they are done, let's say five sums, we guarantee they will do minimum 25 sums at wow. just the end of foundation. In the same time, if they are done seven sums, the minimum they will do 35 sums at the end. Of <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we have been doing this, we are the only company and we additionally guarantee that if they can't do will return money back to you. That's huge. <laughs> I mean, you, are, you are taking the guarantee that the kid will improve exactly. five, times. five times. And if he or she doesn't, the, you money can get your money back. So you can imagine this is an extremely unique concept that any uh, company or any industry in skill development is able to give. Uh, I would like to know about where exactly are your uh, institutes and how many institutes do you have? Oh, that's a good question. So we have, uh, that's a very good question. How uh, how big we are currently, I'll tell you. Yeah. We have currently about close to 900 centers across India. Wow. Yeah. And uh, outside India, we have it in, I said, about eight countries where we are running it currently. Okay. But in India, we are very well spread, 900 centers. And if you look at uh, these centers, they are in small towns, they are in big cities, hmm. they are in uh, medium-sized towns. Hmm. But India is a large country. So we have a lot of areas where we still don't have enough centers. We can still grow a lot more. And these centers are largely run by women. Wow, that that is amazing that it is women centered. Exactly. And uh, it's like you're also empowering women. In a way, we are, we are yes. doing that. Though we didn't intend to do that, but that's what's happening. 
and almost all the teachers who learn our program uh, teach our children are also women. So we ha actually currently have close to five five thousand teachers who teach wow. in these nine hundred centers. Okay. To teach kids, right? And more than maybe hundred and thirty thousand kids currently learn with us. Hmm. And over the last twenty years, we have trained close to a million students. Wow. So it's pretty large. Actually, pretty yes, very, very, very large yeah, scale. Yeah. So we have cumulatively, many have learned and they have left out and they passed out and whatever else. So that gives us tremendous experience in handling children, tremendous understanding of this concept. And the uh, whole idea is when you want to start this also, you can also start this as a business. And that's what we encourage people to come forward. That's how these women run it as centers. So. When people run it as a business, what we call giving them as a business owner, they are also partners hmm. with us or what we call franchisees. And talking about the quality, since you have 900 centers within India, how do you maintain the quality of the Great uh, question. Education? So the first thing we do is, like I mentioned about a training system. The critical thing for quality is ensure your teachers are trained intensely. Hmm. So our training program for teachers is more than 30 days of training. <laughs> Okay. To teach abacus, right? Okay. For and the teacher. Teacher itself. And 30 days over a period of two years or so. Okay. So just to learn our first level training, we will train you for eight days. Four hmm. days plus four days. Hmm. And after every level of training, we also test you. If you okay. clear our test only, you can teach that level. <laughs> okay. And anyone can be the teacher? Anyone can be a teacher. You just have Who to be a graduate. Who can pass the test? Who can after go learning. through a training? Yeah. If you go through a training, you will normally pass that test. But training is quite hard. <laughs> so you have of to go through it. it. I think it's like everything else, uh, you have to put in effort. Hmm. And if you clear the training, you will also see a change in yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyone can do it. We have so many, so many teachers who have got zero math background. They are uh, uh, may never done math. They were scared of math at school. And now they are great teachers with us. Wow, that's that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. So we have a actually that's a, that's a beauty of the system. Actually, not only helps children, it helps many women earn money as a running as a business, and we encourage people to start it as a business also. And we are looking for people to come and start it as a business. But how can one apply for the franchising? Oh, it's very simple. We have a website. You just go give your name, okay. and somebody will contact you within two or three days. That's that easy. It's very simple. It's just go to sipabacus.com. Hmm. And you can see the franchisee details there. You can hmm. uh, even there are phone numbers of all the local people who are in that website. You can even call the local area, whether you are in Delhi or in Punjab or in UP. You can call the person and they'll help you. Okay, out. so in every state you have we a have POC. Office, you have offices wow. almost in every state in the country. India is very big. You can't manage yes. it in Chennai. So, and we have uh, just like any other organization, we have offices in most parts of the country. So you can contact them and they can put you on to the nearby center. You can learn how they are doing, get the confidence, then you can start your own business. Hmm. And the investment is also not large. In most parts of the country, uh, your investments will be in the range of 5 to 6 lakhs to start the business. That's Okay. And, and, and the last thing I want to know is about the resources. What resources one needs to open a franchise for this? You just need, I would say, uh, uh, some money. Obviously, run any business. Like I said, about 5, 6 lakhs of money to you know put up your place and everything else. And you just need nothing actually, you just need uh, time, energy and maybe a small team of two teachers or three teachers to start the business. Okay. That's it, the rest we will tell you. Okay. So you just need some money. Yeah. Give it time. The main thing is you have to give it time and have a small maybe two or three teachers and they want to start. Two teachers is good enough to start the business and as your business grows, add more teachers. Okay. So today… That's it, as simple as that. Yeah, that, that sounds very, very simple, simple actually. And, and if you have uh, women who want to start a uh, business, uh, we would love you to. And who don't want to work in a corporate or you know in a business that they are getting bored or whatever reason or they have hmm. kids or, a, or they want to take a break from life and want to start a business. It's a great business to start. You earn well and uh, you are, get a lot of respect because yes. you're helping children. You feel good that you're doing something nice to society. End of yes. Day. Definitely. So this is how we learned Abacus beyond mathematics and it was very new to me as well. So it was really nice having you here sir. Thank, thank you, you so thank much you, for actually. enlightening us.